Good morning, folks. Today we're getting a look at the Parker Solar Probe, Antarctica, and solar influence on emotion and violence. We also have to rely on backup satellites with SDO being down, so let's start there with the last 24 hours on our star. Another quiet day. We still don't have solar flares or significant eruptions. The sunspots are quiet. The plasma filaments are stable. We have coronal holes, the dark patches incoming from the left, and their enhanced solar wind should reach Earth this weekend. Let's take a bit closer look here and you can see the sunspots are small, not highly complex. We have that new group way over to the left side just incoming and that is where the highest activity is expected over the coming days. You can see that behind the coronal holes is extreme brightness of the active regions and a large longitudinally oriented plasma filament. If we get significant flaring or eruptive activity, it is likely to be from here and again. We're on watch for the coronal hole solar wind stream to arrive between Friday and Sunday. Up next, we're going to the Parker Solar Probe because it's closest approach yet to the sun, which will take it into the upper corona, will occur on Christmas. This mission has provided an unreal amount of new revelations over the last few years, and it's set to dive in for its closest look yet. I expect everything from zoom-in images to solar wind switchback data, big Parker probe event just three weeks away. We're going to Antarctica up next, where a massive greening trend is unfolding over the last several years in the peninsula, the northernmost land of the southern continent. They of course spin it as global warming fear, but don't forget, a greener world is a better world for plants, animals, and us. Trend is actually global as the Arctic is greening too. Link to this in the Parker Probe story are below, but also to this, another confirmation of the bombshell studies a few years ago that suggested high solar activity doesn't just impact emotional instability, but triggers outbursts of violence. We have seen this studied from the perspective of emotional outbursts, fighting, theft, murder, terrorism, same type of effect in play here. Folks, most of you know our documentary is in the works. Multiple filming sessions have taken place, special effects discussions, and prep as well. It will cover the ongoing Earth disaster cycle and the coming magnetic pole shift. And I want to quickly shout out our sponsor, Gold Co. They are observers just like you. And I agree with many of you that there may come a time that we need gold and silver and other bartering. They made a site specifically for us, goldobservers.com. If you haven't considered the precious metal aspect of your prepping, maybe consider it now. We've got major events coming at the ranch the next three months. UFO Day is just 11 days away. Come see us, observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.